dark. I know. Look at my little fake rhinestones shimmering and glittering and stuff in the, in the nighttime. I am on my way to the house, y'all. Listen here. <laughs> this first night of Founders Month, this first evening service laid us down. When I tell you the Holy Ghost came up in that place and laid us down. Laid me down. Laid a few other folks down. Child. This light ain't flattering, but I don't even care. When I say laid us down, when I say the Holy Ghost came in there, and took hold of our first lady. Y'all. <laughs> when I say the Holy Ghost came and took hold of our first lady. Had her. The Holy Ghost had her in folks business. Do you understand me? I don't want to, I don't want to ride. I was going to turn the light on, but I ain't going to do that. Y'all. The Holy Ghost had her all up in folks' business. Yes, Lord. Let me tell you something. Um, Since starting to go to this church, I've literally... If I can be frank, I'm, I want to make sure that I'm telling this right. I've literally only asked the God, God for a few things. One was, oh, okay, there we go, a little light. I'm at the stoplight. One was to secure my finances so that I will be able to faithfully tithe and bless my church. I've asked God for a boldness because I am very shy. And I've asked God for a boldness. And y'all, when I say my first lady, excuse me, when I say the Holy Ghost working through my first lady, I'm in awe. I just don't even know. God is so good. When she spoke all that over me and told me, I'm ain't no time for shyness. She told me I'm not shy no more. She said, God is going to change that to a boldness. When I say this was, this has been my exact prayer. This has been something I posted on Facebook. Um, I just, uh, I don't even want to talk about it because it'll do something to me, y'all, for real. And when I tell you the other thing that I asked for was for God to fill me with the Holy Ghost, y'all. Mm. I am, y'all, I'm so full from tonight. I got the Holy Ghost itis. Do you understand me? Ain't nothing left but for me to sleep. Ain't nothing left for me to do but sleep. The Holy Ghost itis. That's not a real. I'm gonna say it's a real thing because ain't nothing left. I done been laid out on the floor. I didn't help cover other folks while they was in the mist. I didn't scream, I didn't shout, I didn't get all kind of stuff. If you know me, you know I'm shy. You know I'm I'm 
very introverted. God is taking me out of all of that because I asked him to. <laughs> I asked him to. And he did. He doing it. He know. He did it. <laughs> God just keep on blessing me. It's some material stuff I could really ask for if I really wanted to. But that's not even important to me right now. What's important to me right now is my relationship with God and me being in the spirit and me oh, giving my all to God. Honestly, that's what's important to me right now. And I'm very happy that I'm in this place. Okay, I'm about to go. Y'all didn't pull it up at this house. But I want to just thank God for the Holy Spirit. I want to thank God for being God. I want to thank God for this church home. Y'all, when I tell you, it was thick. You could have cut it with a... It was just thick. Thick. Oh, Lord. Oh, the Lord. Let me say something. When they say you better be careful what you ask for, you might get it. That's the truth. Two of them things and came true. The last thing is God going to bless my finances. And I believe it to be so. And I'm going to leave it there. All right, y'all. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> hey, y'all. Real hurt on curl. I'm still not all the way down honey but <sighs> I'm tired I feel drunk I really do but I gotta take this makeup off before I go to sleep I started using this to take my makeup off Abilene now I didn't buy this Abilene for that I bought this Abilene, Abilene to rub on my stomach and put a plastic bag around and put a waist strain on top and when I was exercising. I ain't exercising on no wing anyway. So I said, I'm going to church more. I'm starting to wear makeup more. I need some type of makeup off. And I was I saw that stuff that they always advertise on the um on social media. Wow. This hair gonna grow back out. It's gonna grow back out. It's got to the stuff that it's like a grease formula kind of like Abilene and then people would spray the water and then it would turn they would say oh it turns to milk I said oh I can't use nothing like that because my skin is so oily I'll be an oily bumpy mess wrong like I'm not I want to make sure I'm this makeup is coming off my face because I'm wearing makeup too much well I gotta get out my face because I'm trying to prevent breakouts and things like that I said, let me use this Abilene for what it's made for because, you know, we a lot of a lot of us use it for that reason, the specific reason of trying to lose weight, sweat, like sweet sweat type stuff. It's a moisturizer, moisturizing cleaner. This is good, guys. Anyway, let me show you what I do to take the makeup off, and then I'll get into some other items. Actually, let me get into the items first, and I'll just kind of show you the process. That way I don't have to come back. I can kind of speed this process up. I use natural or handmade soaps for my face. Now, these right here are African black soap chunks. I got the bar, and I literally chop it down to these size little cubes. Okay. No, no scent or anything, just regular African black soap. I get these and I melt them in hot water. I have like a tea kettle and I put them in here. Now when I put them in here, I do kind of, I get the little square, the little rectangle and I chop it down by pressing it against here and making it in smaller bits. Push it down to the bottom out of those bars, maybe about eight, maybe. Just enough to kind of fill up the bottom to about 
here i pour in some hot water just a little bit of hot water barely just enough not even a cover just a little, little bit to melt it i swish 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 when that start stops melting i pour just a little bit more until it's just like right over it eventually it's gonna melt it all these are foaming bottles they helps me because i use this brush and that's gotten bent up it's it just looks dirty but it's not really dirty it just comes from makeup i just basically put this on a, maybe about a week or so ago it was wet not it was smashed up against something and whatever this is the mary Kay invigorating cleaner brush it doesn't spin it just kind of vibrates on your skin and i just kind of go around you push this button and it's on see it doesn't spin and when you push that it stays on for about an hour it stays on for like i think a minute and then it'll automatically shut off and that's about as much time as you need to exfoliate clean your face and everything uh this is rechargeable it has a little charging port you can recharge it it, has, it comes with the usb so if you have a mary Kay rep near you or I know a Mary Kay rep that's in the Dallas area. I can put her num her information below and knows you can buy the replacement brushes. Anyway, so I melt it in here. Once it's melted down, I add purified water and fill it up. And basically, I have a black soap liquid. Now, I use this, but this has been drying my skin out a little bit. And with it drying my skin out, what happens is it makes me oilier. All up in my T-zone where I'm already oily, makes me all oily. Like, I'll be have I'll have my glasses on. The whole lens of my glasses just be oiled up, y'all. So, I was like, oh, you know, I was looking for something else to use, but I like natural products. I have a friend, the uh, friend named Gabby. She makes this beautiful turmeric soap. Now, I've already chopped this down into to little blocks. Because, like I said, I like to turn into liquid soap. I had another bottle. Look how yellow that soap is from the shea and the turmeric. It looks almost like, uh, it's as yellow almost as the gold dial bar. And this was maybe about six or six or seven those pieces of soap. That's it. Same thing, melted it down, and I just filled it up with water. So, and now I'm just going to get into taking this makeup off, and you can kind of see the process. So, I'm going to just put my wig cap on to hold my hair back. If you never knew what Abilene looks like, it basically looks like, uh, let's see, there we go. Basically, it's like Vaseline, and a little bit goes a long way. Let's see. See? Yeah. Show you guys. So I'm going to do that in white and then go show you guys me um, after I clean my face. Okay, this is the first baby wipe. I got all that stuff off and I'm going to go through with another one and then I'll come back with some washing. Okay, this is the second baby wipe. Significantly less and that's most of it you see that came off this time was around the hairline. I'm gonna actually go ahead and clean my face in here to show you guys how I do it. So let me pause it. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face. Normally I do this in the bathroom. I'm gonna spray the brush. I'm gonna pump and you see the way it comes out. See, like a nice rich lather. 
gonna turn it on and go. And like I said, I'm sometimes pump. Something's clogging it up. Okay, for some reason it's not working coming out of that pump. It was at first, but now it's not. You saw it come out because it's kind of thick. So I just kind of look how good of a thick lather that is. And I only use a little bit of that soap. I mean, literally, pieces. So yeah, I'm going to spray the brush and just clean my face. So I'm going to have to work on that formulation. I'm going to have to water that down a little bit. Jeez, that is some good soap. Mm. I mean, that's some good soap. Good, thick. The liquid... Uh, it, it's not lip kind of it's kind of it's thick it's not really liquidy i see how it turns off after a minute and the recording's probably stopped by now but i'm gonna keep going i can't see Just a little bit. Okay, but my ear. <laughs> I'm gonna go wipe this off and wipe off my face. I'll come back. Okay, I just finished washing my face. If I didn't mention it, this right here is waterproof. I normally clean my face in the shower. Uh, while I was in there, I went and went along my uh, waterline. And take off, took off some of that. See a little black, that's the eyeliner. And along my waterline, because I don't, of course, let any soap get there. Witch Hazel, and this is the Witch Hazel that I use, the incense. I'm going to use some of this. I got this uh, eye cream from, I think, Burlington one time. And then my Clinique. And that's it. Take this off. Throw my bonnet on. Sometimes I put moisturizer on my hair, but not tonight. I am tired, y'all. Yeah, thank you so much for spending the day with me. This is pretty much me going to church. Um, I'm not going to insert scenes of actual church or praise and worship just because that's people's. I don't want to infringe on anyone's personal worship time like that um if you like if you're interested in seeing how praise and worship goes at my church you can definitely go to women of faith um on you, you remember faith uh, church of god in christ it is located in dallas texas the pastors are the pastor is superintendent 
Lorenzo Plater. And you can look up the information online if you're interested in just seeing videos and joining in worship and everything. So I'll also put, you know, a flyer. You see the flyer of what um, is happening in the month of October if you want to join for those times. All of those things will be broadcast on Facebook. And I'm, I'm excited for you guys to join if you like to do that. And other than that, I am O-U-T out. I'm out of here. This is Max of Max Simplicity. If you like my vibe, please subscribe.